Um, I'm going to take apart a thermal pane window. I was looking for a video online, couldn't find one, so I guess it's all an experiment. So the uh, first part I've already done, it's easy, you take the aluminum stuff around, off around the outside and the, the rubber uh, uh, stripping and uh, these things come off in the corners, there's four screws and all the stripping comes off after you take the four screws out of the corners, you just pry it off. Okay, then you get to the window itself. And the window itself has all this gooey stuff all the way around the edge, which goes down and uh, gets the, sticks the glass to the lightweight aluminum frame in the middle. So here I've got some of it that I've kind of pulled off by hand, and you can pull this off. It kind of stuck the rubber seal to it, but the rubber the rubber gasket, but it did come off. So we, you can get this out, and then you're left with uh, what can I see in here? Where are we? Here, here we are. Okay, there. You're still left with that uh, little. Uh, surface quarter inch thick of the gooey stuff holding the glass to the piece of aluminum. I can't even tell what I'm seeing here. I hope I'm getting a decent video. Okay, so we got the, the two pieces of glass and the aluminum thing around the edge between them and the glass pieces stuck to the aluminum thing by this uh, gooey black stuff. I see several possible approaches, and uh, one of them is peel back the gooey stuff, and then you might take an exacto knife, try and squeeze it in here, and I'm thinking that that would be kind of like uh, if you uh, peel back a label off something. If you peel it really slowly, it just comes. If you peel it quickly, the label rips. The glue won't come that fast. So if we had a bunch of uh, little, maybe, replacement X-Acto knife blades here, and just stuff them all in here, and kind of gradually get it to work itself apart and that just might work. Another possibility is perhaps acetone or methylene chloride or something might dissolve this sticky stuff. I, I've already uh, run the X-Acto knife along this edge and uh, got it free and then I did this edge and it's not as free as the other edge for some reason. Um, you want to be really careful on glass. These are not uh, not sanded or anything. The edges are really sharp. You could really cut yourself badly on it if any sane person would be wearing gloves here. Okay, hope we make out better with a tripod here. So uh, I'm going to take a quarter inch chisel try and get some of this stuff out. Okay, back with the gloves. They can take the first blow if I slip and run my hand onto the end of the edge of the glass. Yes, I know it was nice to have a cameraman. Let's see what's going on and whether anything at all is in the picture. Well, I wonder how necessary this is. It would be easier not to be doing this. I'm going to melt it with acetone. You need a whole gallon to melt all this. 
I'm not going to melt it with acetone. Maybe I don't need to do this. I'm going to use the knife edge trick. And let's try the knife edge trick already without doing anything more here. It's just a lot of work. Got some good goo here for something. doing is inserting the exacto knife somewhere where it'll go in, sort of, barely. There, it's in. I've got it inserted. It goes past the rubber and into the window. So we are now inside. Hope that's in view. It's too hard looking to see. Looks like it is. So what we want to do is get some other knife blade and stuff it in here so it'll stay. Now once I took apart a patio door thermal pane, come out of there, <laughs> and that one I did by jigsawing with a jigsaw all the way around the edges till I had two separate pieces and then I pried the aluminum off. Of course it bent easily at that point. So maybe we do we even need the exacto knife. Let's try this blade here next. Does it go in? Not really. Let's put in the exacto knife first. This is the other exact knife. Okay, either way. Oh, it's. I can see the goop uh, leaving the window there. So now the knife is going in. So I've kind of uh, freed it up to the corner there. So if I stuff another blade in here. Now I can get that blade in. I hope that's all in view there. So, so we just saw this uh, ceiling strip come away from the glass. chemicals so far. And look, there we've got the corner. It's still pretty stuck. So now, if we had enough of these, we could pry this whole window apart by sticking these in. I wonder if we can go a little wider now. How about this jackknife? Yep. So this is probably superfluous. No. We just need to keep it keep it pulled apart so that it uh, doesn't all stick together again with this sticky, sticky black stuff. Work our way along here a bit. I don't think the exacto knife blade is much wider than the actual black bead in there. There's another. That. Save all this. <laughs> gooey ball, but not so gooey that you can't deal with it. Okay, so now I can see I actually have a gap that's at least a 32nd of an inch. Between the pane of glass and the sealer. Look, this one's loose now. So I should be able to
think uh, if I had the handle for this, it might be more convenient. Yeah. That's probably around somewhere. I hope. And, uh, there. Yeah, let's find the handle for these blades here. I guess this is uh, what you might call uh, <laughs> success with a thousand cuts or something. Okay, I've got some little aluminum clips here that I use for solar panels. So now we've definitely got this corner open. Found the utility knife but with no spare blades. And what happens if we go here now? This time we haven't uh, taken any of this gooey stuff out of here. Oh yeah, I made it so I could get the blades off it. <laughs> so, and we've got another blade here. got the corner coming apart there, definitely. So, let's see if we can get another. You know, these are thicker than the blades, so you can see that we're gradually prying the corner apart. Oh, look at that. It's just come out a long way here. Okay, now how much farther do I need to go with the shims here before I can just slit the whole piece of glass out? considerable chip out of the corner and it shows just how easy it is to do. Uh, I think that's still usable. But I haven't done it any favors. I should have, uh, I guess what I should have done was put a wedge in here and in here so that the corner was pulling apart instead of trying to hold together. with the X-Acto knife and get it in here. See, this knife has a much wider blade than the X-Acto knife. Yeah, now we've got the whole top loose. And if we stick another piece of aluminum in here, we'll make sure it doesn't stick itself back together again. Got one exacto knife. This one. Okay. 
anyway, I'm sure that you're getting the idea here. You look at these and they look hopeless that you'll never get them apart. But it's not entirely true, not necessarily true. Okay, now I think uh, it's wide enough for this to stick with the jack knife. There we go. Look at that, just peeling away there. can see it coming away down here as well as right where the knife is. We'll try to avoid cutting that corner the way we broke the top corner. stuff peeling away, uh, working its way toward the corner. half the glass off. Two sides out of four. And it seems to be getting easier. Which is probably not a surprise. This nice. <laughs> oh yeah, now we can just run down here. Whoa, whoa. And That or not, but there it is. We're going to the bottom. Bust that corner. And in fact, it just comes off now. We've got some goo down at the bottom. Back. Nice and slow. And there we go. I got <laughs> I still got some goo holding it there. That's amazing. But uh won't be holding long. Alright. We now have two pieces of glass. Okay, so uh, that was the take apart of the glass, uh, more or less in real time, so you can see it's not that hard if you're just careful. And uh, the next video will be about cleaning a glass once you've got it apart. I did that once before and I had a terrible time. I ended up uh, actually scratching the glass with some Scotch-Brite. Uh, this time I found the magic ingredient, the uh, chemical works. That's uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate. 
baking soda. So uh, I won't keep you in suspense for the next video if you just want to get going on it. And possibly Comet or Ajax would work better, but uh, the baking soda worked for me.